this video is an experimental thing in which I will be um, improving on this uh, sketch, I guess it's called. You know, it's an unfinished drawing. And um, before I really get started in any detail, something I think is kind of interesting here is this character actually has no name. Uh, I, used, I, I used to share my name with him, but then I realized Hey, this can get pretty confusing pretty quickly, so I stopped that practice. Also, I'd like to apologize if you hear any uh, music or anything playing in the background. I have a Macintosh Plus's Floral Shop album on right now. Uh, so you might hear bits and pieces of that. I don't think you will, but just keep that in mind. Alright. Let's uh, get started with this. Need to find which layer I was working with. Alright, those are apparently the same. Uh, I'm gonna start here by adding some shading to the characters. Uh, nostril area. The active layer is not visible. Uh, give me a break. Airbrush. I, I, I still don't like GIMP. I'm used to working with, um, oh, Clip Studio Paint. That's what I used before I took the, um, Possibly overkill move of just refusing to use windows on it on anything. Uh, at this point, really, I'm trying to not even use Linux on anything. It's just OpenBSD everything. Uh, that's a bit challenging in some areas, but I don't mind that because overcoming those challenges is often pretty satisfying, and I learn things from doing that. Anyway, oh, that's the wrong layer. Anyway, I'll get back to working on this thing. Uh, my drawing style actually developed as a fairly cartoony thing, and then the realism just gradually increased, so uh, it may be in need of overhaul or something soon, you know, just a total uh, reboot, because right now it's kind of obvious it wasn't originally meant to have this three-dimensional look, uh, kind of bastardizing what it was meant to be, and when you get that, you get jank, I don't like jank, uh, I say as I'm Speaking into one of the shittiest jerry rigs I've made in a while, which is, um, I use Sony MDR V6 headphones. Uh, they're actually discontinued now, but they have these ear cups on them. And a while ago I fixed mine up, uh, but the ear cups were kind of bad, uh, as happens. And, um, so, you know, I, I take them off, but I don't actually throw them away. So, uh, when I'm going to set up this microphone, which I've actually taped to a terminal I'm not using right now, uh, the screen's propped up with some T-Rex tape. Uh, you know, it's, it's not taped. The screen is literally resting on a roll of T-Rex tape. Um, I have one of those ear cups resting on the microphone. And as it turns out, that's actually really good for blocking out the, um, the plosives. It makes a really nice filter. But man, this thing looks like shit. Uh, maybe I'll put in a photograph of it here if I remember. I probably won't remember. Uh, I tend to just look at spectrograms when I'm editing audio. The advantage of that is I can edit stuff really quickly. The disadvantage is I don't know what the hell I'm saying. Well, I, I can, but 
It takes a bit extra effort and kind of defeats the purpose. Just from being kind of quiet, I don't normally speak when I'm doing this. Uh, I'll try to think of some kind of commentary. Yeah, here I'm just trying to get this shading talk right. Because that apparently wasn't obvious. Man, I wasn't kidding about uh, trying to do some commentary here. That was freaking terrible. I apologize. Uh, I need some... Man, I don't know. It's a good punishment for that. 30 lashes. Damn it. It's like the stupid cursor doesn't uh, update. It only starts actually uh, laying the shading down after I've already clicked my mouse button. Which is stupid. Shouldn't do that. Should do it immediately. But why do I know? I'm not a computer programmer. Yeah, uh, but I know better than a lot of them do. <sighs> Shit. Uh, whatever, I'll fix it later. In the meantime, I will add some um, uh, blood vessel patterns to the uh, characters, Iris and Sclera, because I like putting a lot of uh, effort into things that two freaking people are going to notice. Yay! Oh, you can see how cheesy the way I did this is. Yeah, I kind of uh, consolidated drawing this little darkened ring around the pupil and adding these uh, iris lines into one step. I think I'll do that again here. And I'll feel free to copy any of these techniques course, because it's kind of hard to copyright stuff like that, and I wouldn't want to anyway, that seems kind of mean-spirited. I have the stabilizer on, so my cursor's going to lag a bit behind. can't get the damn curve right. Uh, yes, I'm drawing this with a mouse. The whole thing so far, uh, aside from the original sketch, which you will see now. This was drawn with, oh, some kind of shitty big pen, just on a piece of cheap sketch paper. 
you know, you, you don't need great equipment to do this stuff. Uh, I say like I'm some kind of just a master of drawing. I'm not. Honestly, my stuff's kind of cheesy. Uh. uh anyway, enough of that. Let's go back to go back to adding this this crap. These were the settings I had. Yep. You need a hero. Someone to rescue you. I was going to say, I. Forgot what I was gonna say. <laughs> now I look like a jackass. Oh uh, yeah, I've actually liked this vaporwave stuff since it uh, originated, I guess you'd say. I'm trying to think of this um, uh, music group that kind of uh, did vaporwave like stuff, but with 60s music. Uh, Chumbawamba, one of my favorite bands, did an album with them. Uh, the album was terrible. <laughs> Called the ABCs of Anarchy. Uh, oh, yeah, something kind of. I think is interesting is. I'm about as authoritarian as you, as you can get, but you know, Chumbawamba's stuff is great. Uh, I guess partially because they're not assholes about the message. You know, as long as you're not a dick, I'll listen to whatever you tell me. I might not like what you tell me, but I'll consider it. I'm gonna pull up my browser here to yeah. try to see what the, the name of this uh, group was. Negative Land. Negative Land, that's it. Yeah, they, they, they have some stuff I like. So, um, it really is just like Vaporwave before that was really a thing. Of course, if you don't like Vaporwave, you're not going to like this, probably. But, uh, you know, if you're the pretentious Vaporwave type, then I'll have, have fun. I recommend looking into that. Here I'm adding the little squiggle line you see around cats, irises. I don't know what the term for that is, but I've never checked. And my line width is apparently a bit too great. Enough. 
there we go. What's that done? I like to kind of exaggerate this on some sides. That might be a bit too exaggerated. There we go, that's better. And now we add some uh, blood vessel stuff. I can't touch up later. But now I need to add the um weird little highlight underneath here. Alright, so I'll select enough to work with. And now I'll just Take my brush and oh, that's way off. Okay, do that. There we go. That looks good. Or adequate. I should set that to overlay. No, that looks shitty. Soft light. Oh, good light. Oh, linear light. What the hell is the difference? Hard mix. I, I don't use 90% of these uh, modes here. I don't know what most of them even do. Half of them just look like um, uh, normal to me. See where I am as far as time goes. Okay, that's not too bad. No, I will not have this done by the end of the video. That's not the goal. I, I always spend a ridiculous amount of time on these things. For affinity, and I get like maybe a favorite. You know, and it's always a bit. Uh, just come on now. I, I I spend a decent bit of time on this. Kind of lame just to get this. One guy favorite the thing, and he go to his page, and he just adds everything on the side to his favorites. <laughs> ah, shit! It's worthless. Yeah, it's like uh, compliments. If you give the same compliment to everyone. If you don't think about it, then that compliment means nothing anymore. Uh, you know, I, 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 there are reasons certain things bug the hell out of me. Just blanket compliments, uh, one of those things. I think I might move this uh, character's nose down a bit because 
He's uh, supposed to be looking down a bit. And uh, cat's noses are already pretty far um, down. They look and they're looking straight ahead. So uh, when he looks downward, that'll be exaggerated a bit. I'm just going to wait for this to save. I've had um, people ask me from time to time on the net. Uh, you a furry? Uh, people who are in the furry fandom. And, you know, I, I, I tell them, yeah. It's like they aren't expecting that. I don't know why. I mean, I think it's kind of obvious. I'm not saying this to make fun of anyone who's asked that. I think it's just legitimately kind of funny. Alright, I had some, um... Small scale sheeting to the character's, uh, field from here. Go. I'm pretty pleased with my uh, shading job so far. I just realized I haven't actually added the fur yet. So, um, I'll begin that with the uh, eyebrows here. Oh, yeah, more about that furry phantom thing. Um,. My interactions with the furry phantom are kind of weird. Like, um, it's very, uh, well, this goes for a lot of the net too, but people's opinions of me online are very poor. Um, I'm either just hated or uh, people really like me. I'm fine with either of them, so long as you're not just gonna waste my time. Like a bunch of lame insults I've heard 80 times before. And you know, it seems kind of cheap going after me because 90% uh, of the time I'm not gonna fight back. I'm just gonna uh, kind of groan and ignore you for the most part. Well, no, I'm not gonna ignore you. I'm just gonna Oh, yeah, whatever. You can hear the sounds of my keyboard in the background, and I hope that they're uh, enjoyable. Yeah, here I'm just using the, the smudge tool. Uh, that's about what I did in, um, Clip, except I think in Clip, it was called the Mixer Brush. 
the same tool, just slightly different settings. I feel like these eyebrows look kind of goofy. But I've saved uh, backup, so I'm not going to worry about changing them right now. Come on, save! Apparently I have two things in a little Toshiba uh, mug on my desk. I have a uh, exacto knife with a kind of chisel looking end on it and a red fine tip marker. I very rarely use that marker. I think the last time I used it was to acid tags things which I make just um you know I, I go to my terminal I type in a uh, head slash diff slash random uh, and I uh, translate those characters to uh, alphanumerics case sensitive uh, personally I think that's just the best way to go with that for acid tags, is that set up? You know, treats me right. Uh, I use, I think, um, eight characters per acid tag. And if you're doing that, then you'll get, um, let me calculate this. That is two times 26 plus 10. Put that in the parentheses and put that to the eighth. That's a long number. Uh, about two times ten to the fourteenth possible acid tags. Uh, that should be enough. You no. Know, uh, Actually, I don't know if there were that many green sand. Alright, uh, according to NPR, you can um, you know, you're not gonna get attacked for most of them, but There are seven and a half times ten to the eighteenth grains of sand. So, uh, you know, just just add a few more characters on your acid tag there, and you'll be able to uh, uniquely refer to every grain of sand on Earth. I don't know why you want to do that, but it's a possibility. Not a feasible one, but it's a possibility. I don't know why I didn't do this idea before. Uh, I'm kind of enjoying this. I actually used to live stream these drawings on a um, Picardo. I stopped just because uh, there was only so much time. And I, um. I, I had this, um. Wacom Intuos Pro Medium. And a uh, dang thing just broke on me. Uh, I opened it up to see what the problem was, and the little uh, micro USB connector at the end just fell out <laughs> uh, with the traces of the board. So there's no really easy way to fix that. I actually don't know where it is now. Uh, maybe that's a project. 
Junior for a bridge project. Now this bridge is, uh, I'll just say it, it's a piece of shit. <laughs> I, I wasn't expecting it to get anywhere. I, uh, the goal was, I think, holding this paint bucket uh, with the bridge. I'll check to see if I have the schematic open. I remade it. I read it the schematic in open SCAD. I don't have it open, but I'll get it open. Because uh, this is worth seeing. So, unbelievably shitty. Again, this is not the original schematic. That's um, a pretty terrible little uh, digital drawing I made. It doesn't scale well, but uh, here we go. There's the bridge. This thing was made out of balsa wood. And, um, So we, we put the paint bucket on the thing, and um, it, this is the most focused anyone was. I, I did this on my own over the partner thing, but I like to have control over stuff. Uh, that's mainly decreased with warp stuff because uh, the people I go with for teams are um, very competent. They are um, very willing to say, okay, I'll think about doing it your way. Okay, your way is better. Let's change this. Or, I don't agree with your way, here's my reasoning. As opposed to... No, I want to do it this way. Uh, which, you know, that's... There, there's a reason there's a, a negative connotation to uh, group work in schools, from what I remember. Uh, I did have some good experiences with that from time to time, with um, very minimal hiccups. But anyway, back to the point. This is the most attention anyone's paid to any of the bridges so far. Uh, every student in that class surrounds this piece of crap <laughs> as, I, as I put this bucket on it. And um, as I let the bucket go, this bridge just bows like crazy. Uh, I thought the thing was going to snap, but... um. These dimensions are all in millimeters. So, you know, th this thing's pretty... Uh, it's, it's not a big bridge. Uh, anyway, yeah, it bows like crazy, but uh, it, it doesn't break, it doesn't crack. But, um... Every single student in that class cheers. Well, it's not a cheer so much as a yell of, yeah! And you know, I've... Like, uh... I think since the ninth grade, really, I've been kind of like a shitty Steve Ballmer. 
as far as enthusiasm goes, part of the reason this stuff seems like such a foreign concept to me, is, you know, I, I of course join in. Uh, and then we start adding stuff to the bucket to see how uh, much weight this piece of shit will hold. <laughs> Uh, it, it gets up to six pounds, unbelievably, before it just, actually, if I remember correctly, it didn't even break, it just kind of snapped, and the little thing, the, the, in the paint bucket just fell to the ground. It didn't actually break, it was, it was still totally connected to itself, so I just folded it, um, back down into its uh, straight position and um, I think I still have it somewhere yeah that was really uh, a fun day <laughs> I actually don't remember anything else that happened that day. Of course, I guess that makes sense. This was 17 years ago or so. longer than that. So, 20, this is 20 years ago. 20 years ago. Or, 19. Uh, well, the time passes, I guess. Alright, let's get back to this. doing here, so I'm kind of giving up on the uh, eyebrows for now, and I'm doing uh, some work on this layer, which I've called Brow Lower, because I don't know what else to call this. Anyway, um, the reason this is here is that in cats, uh, when they look down, man, that was a crappy start to my sentence. When cats look down, um, part of their eyes is covered. Parts of their eyes are covered. I'm not sure how exactly you phrase that. Uh, I, I hope you know what I'm trying to say. Their eyes are not totally visible because they have a little uh, ridge uh, at the top of their eyes. So what I'm doing here is trying to uh, show that in the drawing. And I'm apparently not having much luck. That means it's morning. Uh, now it looks more pissed off than anything. That wasn't the goal. Uh, how about I just add some more uh, fur to this ear here? figure out why um, two sides were asymmetrical earlier. I was using different hardness values for my 
smudge tool here. Now I feel like an idiot. <laughs> I'm just gonna um, add a white background so I can see this better. Some album playing right now, and I have no idea what the hell it is. Macintosh Plus updated floral experience. I have no idea. So far, it's kind of cheesy. Not a big fan. But I, uh... Public Enemy, it takes a nation of billions. Is it a good album? I forgot how goofy the... The album cover is, uh, you know, it has Flavor Flav with his little goofy clock around his neck. <laughs> All right, let's see if I can. finish this year before I stop this recording. Let's make sure it's still going. It is. That's good. I'm headbanging, but I it's like a kind of mild disgust. Uh, that stems from me focusing. I don't know why I need to focus on this, but I apparently do. I still don't know if the uh, kind of weird whining in uh, Terminator X to the edge of panic is a tea kettle or what. I'm not sure if I want to know. I think I like the mystery of just not knowing. Partially because I can make jokes about it. Some smart ass says, yeah, It's not actually a tea kettle. <laughs> Thanks, asshole. I was actually enjoying making fun of it. I say making fun, but you know, I, I like Public Enemy. Probably not the first person uh, you'd expect.
I think I'm gonna stop this because it turns out I um I still don't like drawing. I think it's a tedious thing. So um God's sake, tell me in the comments if there's anything I can improve with this because, um, uh, when I don't get criticism, I lose motivation. Uh, I think part of that is I just figure, well, I've reached... Perfection, you know, I can't make it better, so what's the point? Uh, I can't further develop this process. So, um, yeah, I'll just repeat that. Please leave any criticism you have in the comments. And with that, uh, good day. I don't know what the hell, I don't know what the hell your time zone is. And even then you're going to be seeing this in the future. I would like to.